Hello everyone and welcome to our fourth lesson in if statements. In this discussion we will be talking about how to nest multiple conditions inside if statements using our AND and OR logical operators. So if you go ahead and click in the description on the link, an Excel file should open up like this. And if you click on the fourth tab titled Project 2 Shipping Calculation, we will see that there are two sets of questions. And I'll go ahead and zoom in so that we can read them. And the questions go like this. For premium members, the shipping fee will be zero no matter which shipping method is chosen. Non-premium members will only be eligible for free shipping if the order amount is greater than or equal to 300 and the shipping method is ground shipping. Otherwise, the ground shipping fee is $9 and the one day shipping fee is $29. So let's go ahead and look at our table and as we can see, there is a column for those who have premium membership. There's a total subtotal column as well, as well as shipping method and tax. I went ahead and calculated the tax for us, but you can go ahead and do it yourself. It's quite simple. If you recall in our previous lessons, we're always using the equal sign and we want to highlight the subtotal and multiply it using an asterisk and then highlighting our tax rate which is 8.875 percent which will give you M16 and if it gives you M16 then you get a tax rate of 45 43 dollars and 58 cents but when you drag it down you'll get zero that's because we didn't include the absolute symbols inside of our tax rate. So let's go ahead and add those dollar signs or those absolute symbols just before the M and just after the M and click return. And now let's go ahead and drag it down so that we can get our tax for each purchaser. Once we do that, we'll go ahead and start to write our formula to determine who gets or who is charged a shipping fee. Now, if we go into the question again, there are multiple conditions here that will satisfy those who would be receiving a fee and those who would not be receiving a fee. And what I mean by that is this. The shipping fee will be $0 no matter which shipping method is chosen for premium members. For non-premium members, a free shipping is eligible on their order amount if their order amount is greater than or equal to 300 and the shipping method is ground shipping. So there are two different ways that purchasers can receive free shipping. For premium members, it's you know zero dollars no matter what because they're premium members. They won't be charged a shipping fee. And for those non-premium members, the only way they will be eligible for free shipping is if their order amount is greater than or equal to $300 and if they choose a shipping method of ground shipping. So to type that we're going to begin with our if statement and we open up our brackets and as I mentioned previously we will be using and or or operators. For this particular condition we'll go ahead and use the or logical operator and the reason being is because like I mentioned previously there are two different ways that purchasers can receive free shipping. There's one way for premium members and there's one way for non-premium members. And we'll go ahead and open our bracket once we do insert the OR condition and now we can type in our condition. 
which is the shipping fee will be zero no matter which shipping method is chosen for premium members otherwise meaning for those who are premium members in column C if they're per if they are premium members we can type in yes then they'll receive free shipping we'll go ahead and type in a comma and write out our second condition inside this first if statement which is non-premium members will only be eligible for free shipping if the order amount is greater than or equal to 300 and the shipping method is ground shipping so here we have two conditions that need to be met in order for non-premium members to receive free shipping and if there are two conditions that need to be met then we would be putting in the AND logical operator and opening up our condition and our condition is written similarly by clicking on C2 and typing in the equal sign and for non-premium members or otherwise no they don't have premium membership then they will have to have an order amount of three hundred dollars or more so their order amount which is represented by cell D2 will have to be equal to or greater than or greater than and equal to three hundred dollars and the second condition is the shipping method has to be ground shipping so we typed in and here as a logical operator because there's two conditions that need to be met they have to have an order of more than three hundred dollars and they also have to choose ground shipping so let's go ahead and separate uh, this argument with a comma by typing in or clicking on cell E2 and the equal sign and again cell E2 or the shipping method has to equal ground shipping and let's close that up with quotations and all our strings have to be in quotations the yes string and the ground shipping string as well as the no string and now we can go ahead and close this bracket and if you recall once we see a black bracket that means that it's closed okay but we won't be closing it entirely so let's just leave it at the red black bracket and the red bracket suggests that we can go ahead and type in our true statement so we haven't really typed in our true statement yet and that's because we were writing out our condition so this whole condition if the function in Excel checks for this condition and all of them check out or all of them are correct then the true statement applies meaning that nobody has to pay zero dollars or nobody has to pay anything the fee for those premium and non-premium members once they satisfy the requirements will be zero dollars for shipping and we can go ahead and type in the last condition here after our true false or true if statement which reads the ground shipping fee is nine dollars and the one day shipping fee is twenty nine dollars so if you try and to satisfy these requirements and still are unable to fall under any of the requirements then the false statement applies too bad too sad the ground shipping fee is nine dollars so we go ahead and type in our if statement open it up with brackets and type it in the ship the ground shipping fee will be nine dollars represented by number nine and the one day shipping fee will be twenty nine dollars let's go ahead and close that bracket up and click 
the bracket again, the parentheses one more time to close up the entire, the entire formula and click return. And as you can see, for James Balua, his shipping fee is zero. Now let's go ahead and drag this down and allow Excel to do the hard lifting for us. And that is the shipping fee for pretty much everybody who chose single day shipping. And the grand total for those is like this. We want to go ahead and click on D to want to add the plus sign. want to click on the tax cell, which is represented by F2. Let's add the plus sign again. Let's go ahead and click on G2, which is the shipping fee. Click return. And that is the grand total. Go ahead and drag that amount down. And there you have how to write multiple conditions for if statements. If there's any questions, please type them in the comments. I'll be answering them almost immediately. And until then, we'll go ahead and move on to our second workshop in our Excel series workshop. Have a great day. Thank you.